My dishwasher is a few years old and I notice it's just not cleaning as well as it used to. When I open it up, it doesn't really smell all that fresh inside. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give this dishwasher a tune up. I'm gonna pull out the top rack first. This one has this little catch right here that is a just push button release. So if I remove both of them on each side, the rack will come out. Your dishwasher might be different. This is a KitchenAid unit, but top rack usually comes off pretty easy. The bottom rack usually doesn't have anything keeping it in place. And you can just lift this one straight up. First thing I want to do with my top rack is take a look at my spray arm. My spray arm has all these little holes that shoot water into the, the dishes on the top rack. And what I've got is I got this little piece of welding wire. You can use any wire, anything you have laying around the house. Coat hanger will actually work pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and gently stick it in all these little holes and clean them out so I get my spray back to the way it was when it was new. A lot of times you have food or calcium deposits build up in here. If you've got heavy calcium deposits, you can go ahead and soak it in CLR, but a piece of wire will clear up any clogs pretty quick. Check the wheels on your rack. Make sure that they're not broken or chipped because you can get replacement wheels for them. This one looks pretty good, so we're gonna leave them. Inspect the rack, make sure none of the coating is chipped off. If it is, they sell little touch-up kits. Home Depot, Lowe's, Amazon, they all have them. Looks like a bottle of nail polish, and you can just go ahead and dab it on the areas that are damaged. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this lower spray arm. Mine actually has this little screw attachment and it moves in a clockwise direction so it's a little deceiving at first. I'm just going to remove it and check yours to see how it mounts on there. Usually they're pretty simple. There you go, there's the lower spray arm. See all these little holes? We're going to do the exact same thing to them. Make sure we don't have any food or debris in ours because believe me cleaning these makes a huge difference this is what dishwasher repairmen don't want you to know inside the dishwasher i'm going to do the same thing just going to make sure everything is clean down here like got a bunch of crap down here i don't even know what it is looks like paper or something but i'm going to scrape all this away clean it really good i've got some food in here after I scrape it all away, I'm just gonna take a little shop vac and vacuum everything up. While you're inside the dishwasher, check your float valve. Make sure it operates freely, moves up and down. You can hear a little clicking when I do that. Make sure there's no food debris or anything caught in there. There's a screen in here. I wanna be very careful that I don't tear or damage, but make sure that this is all clean. All along the dishwasher door, you have a gasket. You wanna make sure that's clean so you get a good seal on your door. Just taking a little bit of simple green, you can use anything you want, and clean off all the gunk all around the gasket. Clean the bottom of this door edge. Mine really has a big accumulation of stuff and this will definitely keep your door from closing properly. And it's probably contributing to that smell. Now clean the door edge. Top of the door. These dispenser panels, commonly neglected. I've got a nylon bristle brush. I'm going to clean all this up as well. Now that everything's been cleaned up, we can reattach our lower spray arm. Now I could set my basket, my lower basket back in place. I checked the same thing on the lower basket as I did the upper. Make sure the wheels are all in good shape, clean, and that there's no chips to the basket coating. Upper basket slides in next. 
along with the locks. Okay, the dishwasher is pretty clean. Let's move on to the air gap. The air gap is located at the top of your sink. Mine's cleverly disguised as a soap dispenser. If you remove the top cover, you can see there's a plastic nut that I'm going to try to remove without any tools because I'm lazy. I'm go ahead and unscrew that. And we've got a gasket here. You're going to basically do the same thing, clean everything up. I'm just going to pull this gasket. There's a lot of debris and build up here. If I pull this gasket, I can go ahead and push the air gap down into the sink cabinet. So looking under our sink, here's what our air gap looks like. You've got two hoses attaching to it, one from the dishwasher, and then another one goes either to your garbage disposer or to your sink drain. It's important that this air gap's clean if you've got any water coming out of it. That means one of these lines is clogged. I've shoved the air gap back through the sink. It's got these two little tabs here. You just press them in on the sides and then pull this top piece up. And you can go ahead and give this a good cleaning as well. Clean your gasket and put it back on. This one's actually probably due for a replacement, but I'll go ahead and reinstall it for now. They're pretty cheap. It's worth replacing so you don't have any leaks around your sink area. Put back the locking nut. Pull it straight up and just tighten it down and you're good to go. Put the air gap cover on, you're done. Last thing to do is go ahead and use a disinfectant in the dishwasher. The stuff that I get is called Dishwasher Magic. Um, $7 on Amazon works great. What it does is it gets rid of all of the, the calcium deposits, the lime, the buildup, the bacteria. Follow the instructions. You just go ahead and put it in the silverware tray. Run it on a pot and pan cycle for the hottest water possible. You do this twice a year, your dishwasher is going to operate at peak performance just like it was when it was new. Your dishes are going to be a lot cleaner. You're going to save a ton of money by not having service people come out and charge you crazy sums of money to do the same thing.